Well, hello and good evening from Kickstarter Radio 102.4. This is Lipstick Patty working late, so good evening to everyone watching. Now, this is the edit of the live show that went out on Monday um, due to the bank holiday and uh, special Easter weekend. So I hope you, everyone's doing great. Now, if you look um, in the description, you'll find the show notes. So hopefully you can um, power link to the content you're interested to or just watch on as the live show progressed. It's all up to you. And um, yeah, the next live show will be on Sunday. Um, as advertised in our banner and if you subscribe to the channel you will certainly um, get a reminder in your sub subscription so there we go so I hope you have a very good night from me in the station working late and enjoy the live show so take care give me the thumbs up we are live you can see <laughs> he's taking the chat now he's taking it on all right peeps good news Good news is, it, I don't know why it's saying Trump's miracle drug. Of course, Trump has been touting this, but this study comes from France and it's a follow up story. It was with 80 patients originally, now it's a thousand patients. So the study has become much bigger and it has a 98% success rate with hydroxychloroquine, which is basically a, a uh, it's basically quinine that you get in your tonic water, which is the cure of malaria, which is an antiviral by nature. And um, I'll put this link in the description of the video. And when we go to the music, I'll put this link in the chat for those people that are, uh, that are watching live. Um, yeah, it's a very detailed article. The doctor here, he's put the actual link of the study you can see the study here the results and also he's done the abstract so you can understand what this is in pure English and it is a hundred percent that this is the cure for COVID-19 so hopefully if we can get this out across our countries then we will be in a better state than we are now so yes try and share this link on your social media all right, let's get to board gaming. I just want to give you a bit of hope as we begin. There we go. Dollars. <laughs> Thank you. Got to be logged in. Um, 50,000 backers going on 51,000. Wow. Oh, I'm one dollar in this and I'll keep my one dollar in at the minute. There's too much love being around April, as you probably know if you're following the channel. For 50, 50 plus thousand people, the comments, 6,700, is so intimidating to even go in there and say anything. Massive FAQ. Updates each day have been stone cold boring as I mentioned in my show this week on yesterday and what are they doing to excite you other than tell you that there's loads of guest designers and I, this would have been better if they'd done a social unlock where they had a, a daily unlock of campaigns where they kept producing side content that would have been more exciting the way they've done it in their update system just seems fairly underwhelming. And why aren't they pushing stuff out about the main game? All this art here we're seeing is not finished, so I don't know. All they keep doing is banging the drum on Facebook about you're saving $60. Mm -hmm. Well, and um yeah i still don't know about these bloody pins they seem really expensive 50 dollars for f six pins <laughs> anyway and uh so yeah i mean for me the only excitement thing is the coins that's it for the whole campaign the coins and um you know if you compare this with the other big dungeon crawlers of the past that we've had in the last year 
it's definitely the campaign that's the weakest in bubbling your excitement. It really is. Which is a bit of a shame. And the community, you know, five and a half thousand new backers, never been to Kickstarter before. And is that the retail? Is that the retail people? And um, yeah, this would be nice if it said returning backers to Gloomhaven. That would have been nice because we still don't know the reach of, we don't know the reach that Frosthaven is doing to new people. Are all these people backing it? Have they already got the game? Gloomhaven, that's the big question. Because if it is true that this game has no legs, it cannot go bigger. It's plateaued. It's not gonna increase at the end of the month. I think you're in, if you came in, you came in. Nothing in the updates is gonna convince you to up your pledge. Not unless there's a surprise coming mid campaign. So with Ank coming tomorrow, I have my doubts if this is going to break eight million. But we'll see. We'll see. Eighteen days to go, and we obviously wish it well. We are part of the bloody campaign, and uh, yeah, there you go. Frosthaven not doing anything to excite me, unfortunately. So there we go. One dollar pledge, all you're getting from us, and we'll um, we'll upgrade our pledge when the time comes in the year. We've got till December, I think. I think it's December. Go back this way. All right. Trekking the world. We don't need to um, look at that again, but it, it extended its campaign with the Kickstarter COVID-19 special where it, it allowed companies to stay around for seven more days and Trek in the World has benefited hugely from this. Let's go and have a look at it, why not? World was lowering down around the thousand backer and it really did deserve more and wow, look, it just exploded. It is an absolute beautiful world and $40, one pledge, that's it, one pledge. Pledge! $40! It's coming September, it's fairly quick, and um, this blew us away, and this extra seven days really rocketed the campaign. So, if you think that a 14 day short campaign is worthy, it isn't. This had a long campaign and it extended by seven days and it produced a miracle for this campaign. If you've not seen this game, it is the most beautiful art. It will blow you away. Love this box. And if there's anything that is a shame about the Kickstarter is that there's not really many Kickstarter things apart from the exclusive card pack which isn't really worth shouting about. All right. Ding, ding. I started watching the Amazon thing. <sighs> yeah, that first episode, oh my goodness. Talk about slow. I don't know why they don't say when you watch the first episode, this is the pilot. Because it, it is the pilot, and then you know the pilot isn't gonna be anywhere near the rest of the series. So, oh man. <laughs> I don't know why the series needed to be in the United States. You know, the whole reason that it's interesting is it's in a different place. It's in the North Hemisphere. It is up in Scandinavia. Isn't that what is interesting about this? Anyhow, um, yeah, we looked at this yesterday. It's completely updated its stretch goals, which is really good. More scenarios is what we want. And we are locked and loaded for this campaign and cannot wait for this really does look special. 
PM. When you look at the board in detail, which our video showed you, you've got to go to the print and play to look at the board. It is beautiful. So, um, yeah, we, we literally updated this within the last 24 hours. So go to um, go to this week on to have a look at it. <laughs> doesn't like you. You don't like me doing this, do you? <laughs> right, we need to go to Sanctuary, and after Sanctuary, we'll um, have a break. Month. We're not even halfway through, but my goodness, talk about a campaign being mega exciting. This is it. Quick reminder about this game 38. Euro, so $42 Kickstarter edition, and you're getting so much for your money. It is the biggest value proposition out there on Kickstarter. Definitely the the budget choice at 40 compared to 100, and um, much to like. We're here for the update, so let's swing down to the the um, stretch goals. <laughs> So many stretch goals. Last week when we covered this, if I can say last week, it was a long time since our last for our last show. File on the box, very good. More echoes, yes, I think we were here to get the box. The box upgrade was illustrated inserts. Um, so when you open it, you've got more art inside. We still don't know what this shelf is. I think it's the middle section of the box that they just stacked on the right. It really um, was looked like it was something else when it first showed it. The deck building came out. The solo campaign, very good. More art, yes. Um, an art book and extended lore on your phone. Okay, bring it to desktop. So this phone stuff, and um, the campaign. This was a big one, the 140, because it was, um, you know, a campaign mode for for single play. That's great. We got the linen card, which, you know, it's strange that this is so far down the stretch goals. More solo cards. We still don't know much about the solo. Hopefully the solo rulebook will pop out before the end of the campaign. Um, community cards are coming along. And look at the screen printing. So this does look good. And... More cards coming, and they've revealed the deck building helper and the custom deck vault. Custom deck vault. What is that? Is that like um, custom created deck builds that you can you can you can just quickly upload a template from the vault, which which is like a popular one. That's fairly interesting. If that is the case. I do like that. There's more cards coming here. They're doing interesting 5,000 euros for the next one, which is nice. So it's going to be a card. I'm thinking the 200 k is going to be something special. And, um, you know, if we've got the screen printing on the Aegis tokens, is it not obvious that they're going to do miniaturized screen printing on... on the other stuff. Yeah, the Splendor tokens. Are these not going to get a pass? We've not, they're not even mentioned these. Um, not mentioned them at all. There is also an add-on we need to look at. Like They've got an add-on. Wow, that was quick. <laughs> New alternate play mats. Now there's six factions. I don't know why they didn't do six play mats. Anyway, these are alter, alternate playmats if you want to have more. There is the 2v2 mode. I don't know why I'm saying 2v2 mode. 
Yeah, that so was that unlocked? Is that a reason to get two more? We meant to be <laughs> I'm thinking TPT mods in this game. I don't know. Am I getting confused? I look at so many Kickstarters. Yes, I think I am confused. 2v2. Yes, 2v2. There you go. Yeah, I was right. <laughs> Yes, so if you did play 2v2, you can, you can get those two mats and um, you, you're all good to go. Twelve euros for two more mats. For this this size, it's, it's bargain. Like you're super getting this at cost. How cheap is that? So yeah, if you plan to play this more than two players, then these mats are a needed add-on. Needed add on is the foil cards, the sleeves. We need to have a look at these, but I'm not going to add it onto the pledge due to financing balancing. But this is something that potentially is going to come later. All right, we're going to switch to some music. Wow, well, we're going to switch to some music. I think we're going to carry on. We're not going to go to some music. We're going to carry on. We're going to make, get through this as quick as we can. <laughs> End on time this time. The last live show was extended due to looking at a particular game at the end of it. And it turned into a massive, massive thing, which we're going to pull out of it and we'll put it on, our, put it on the channel this week. Probably Friday is when it will pop. Moonshine Empire, what have they done here with the graphic? Mm. Yes, yeah, 57 hours to go. Excuse me, one and a half thousand back is very good. We'll briefly go down here. This is still going on, this character. <laughs> still not fin finalized this one yet, 55k. Which is interesting. Add-ons, not the add-ons, stretch goals have become weird. <laughs> They've become weird. I'll tell you why. Right, last time we got Grunt unlocked. Very, very cool. The swamp tiles, yes, we got them. And we got the, the custom shaped jugs were the thing. You're getting more money cards for some reason. Don't know why you might run out. What is this about? And look, please change the money cards. I've been talking about this since the video. It's something that needs updating. Go and look at New Osaka to see what New Osaka did. With their money, it looks so much more interesting. Anyway, 85k. Linen finish on the jugs. Now, there's a... Seems to be a lot on these jugs. Stretch goals. And it says here, four moonshine jug crates. What is this? Are th these are what are going on the cars. I don't understand. It's on you. I don't know. So, <laughs> wait for this one to unlock. And we'll see what it is. Let's see if on the update if it mentions anything. The recent one. Ooh. Yes. Yes, additional money cards that we're not that interested in. Pappy's Tavern, this is the wooden box that we covered on our channel. It looks amazing. Possibly something you can add on. Look at it. Oh, so good. Yeah. Yes, it does look very, very good. Now, does it mention stretch goals? We're getting some YouTube love. You can see a lot of people like it. They are not talking about the stretch goals. They're just saying they've got new ones and there is that. One question in the FAQ. Amazing, isn't it? <laughs> anyway, it's going well. I think this is the last time we'll cover it, so yeah! 
um, Barrel Age Games, well done on your first Kickstarter. This does look amazing. And fingers crossed, in the, in the last, um, last 48 hours, you can push that 100k barrier. Yes. Joke crates. How are they getting used? Mysterious. Mysterious. They live getting better, slowly but surely getting better. <laughs> this project. Now they have updated the rule book, which is interesting if you're interested in, in this game. So do have a look at that. It does also tell you the changes here, and it is because of the feedback on the rule book which is why they're doing it. So that is a very good sign of change. We're seeing Frank here. If you've not seen the movie, it's an amazing fright, fight between Frank and Nada, the main character. It goes on for like six minutes and it's great because Nada was um, a WWE, WWF wrestler at the time in the 80s and the director wanted to have a fighting scene with some wrestling action involved. And it turned out to be one of the best ever fight scenes in a movie between Frank and Nada. So, uh, ooh, if you've not seen the movie, please <laughs> go check it out. I'm sure it's very easy to find. Uh, yes. They live. Really, really cool film. Really is. Here he is. Battle Nada. Nice and cool. Um, you're getting your dice inside a bubblegum box. The, the bubblegum box wasn't even in the film. So what is this? <laughs> and um, yeah, so they're talking about things like this. Um, people in the base game. They're like they're fleshing it out the campaign page, which is nice to see. The the big pledges. People have gone for them. Look, look at this. The $6,000. Yep, someone got that. The $400. Someone got that. Um, yeah, so why don't you... I don't know. Can they not open those out again? There's obviously demand for them. The film license is still loved by people. It really is. Oh, the t-shirts! Yes, gimme, 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 gimme! I want the t-shirts, I want the t-shirts, I want the t-shirts. If you don't know what these Y Obey things are, you need to watch the film. But I've seen the film more than once now, and I still don't, I don't I'm not interested in this stuff. <laughs> so, you're unlocking characters from the film. Um, Holly, mysterious character. Gilbert the Planner and um, Battle Nada upgraded tokens, very good. And Frank, really want to see what's going to come after Frank. Um, I don't think there's any characters noteworthy that you want to put in the film. Maybe the priest. I'm not sure about that, but yeah, looking forward to see what pushes when it gets after 90k. It's at 85. I, I wish it just showed you the other currency. I don't like how it does that. Moving on! Planet Unknown. We looked at that this week. Really cool. Super cool game. Please check that out if you've not seen it. Veil Wraith, very, very cool. We will be doing a video on that this week. For science is in reserve. We may do a reserve on that, so we're keeping away from these two. Out of cold, it's we've covered that previously on live. We do not like it. Same with Night of the Mummy and Dungeon Breakout. We've got we've actually pulled the video for Dungeon Breakout. Um, a day from now and it finally backed. Crikey. <laughs> I can't believe people. I want to go in. I want to go in. Did people pledge those big tears? Let's have a little nosy. 
Let's have a little nosy. 25, these people playing 45. 75 PR! What's going on? 85! 41 playing, paying $140! Are you kidding me? Four people spending $240! And you've got two insane people spending $550 on this. <laughs> oh my goodness. I cannot understand the love of this heart. And the reason it's 550 is because they're putting metal minis in it. It's really odd. And look at the art on the cards. The big sausage. I mean, monster. Loot card. I mean, look at this. Is it really exciting people? It is. Five, two people, $550. You know, we, we had this in reserve. We'll go and have a look at this Panda Maid. This looks so much like a work placement. You'll see that drops at Essen. It's got that kind of classic German board game design. And um, even the names of the towns are German on the board. <laughs> I think the biggest problem with this game is that it looks aged. It looks like a Kickstarter from years ago. Um, <laughs> it, it doesn't look like a new game, even though it is. So it, it just looks like it's dated. And I'm like, it's 10 years old, it feels like. That's, that's the kind of sniff and feel that it gives gives me when I look at this. We had it shortlisted, but it never came to pass, as lots of interesting stuff is out there. And with this just looking like a Euro of the past, it didn't really excite us, and you can tell with only 500 back plus that it's not pushing much excitement, so... And the main, well, you know, bread. You couldn't think of a, an interesting theme other than bread making. There we go. I think Kickstarter is becoming the land of the triple A worker placement era. You've got to really come here with guns firing if you're going to be a worker placement on Kickstarter. Things like Kanban is an example of one that just blew up. And because um, that looked pimped up to the nine. Really did. It had a modern theme. Anyway, more examples of that on my channel of worker placements that have kind of come out really swinging. This Storm the Gate. Now, you've got these characters. This game has been done before. You've got one that flies. When he gets this white one here, watch. It flies over the top. How cool is that? Now, in the updates, there's like a long post about this. And he talks about screen printing the tops of these. And he says, no. No! It changes the weight of each one. But I'm sorry, that is just such a dull thing. This art should be on them. The, the cards are already done. Is it going to be so hard to do this? And frankly, we've got... Uh, what have we got? Catacombs, third edition. 
they put stickers on all of the wooden pieces and it has no impact on the gameplay and you're telling me that if you screen print or put a sticker on these it's going to affect it in the game that is pure nonsense up here pure nonsense so so yeah I mean it, it it's it's kind of a that's what it is it's like you go oh you're not using them it looks like a gimme that they should be there you're just paying for the box to be created the bungee cord um, we've seen this before this is nothing new and this card thing it's, it's really not here or near either there or not there it's a Look, it looks the same. It looks the same. There's no art on them. I'm pretty sure if you got these and painted something on them, it's not going to affect the gameplay. But it will update the game to look more thematic, like you're using these art things. I mean, it's a joke that they're using these cards on these. They're not putting the art on. Furthermore, no, no stretch goals, nothing. We want to be clear that we're not using any. Simple as that. <laughs> Just make it simple for you. So we've seen this um, system before, and all you bring into the table is some cards, not putting the art on them, which, to be frank, if you're not going to do it, someone is going to do it. Someone out there is going to do this. They're probably going to bring it cheaper. And it's going to be full of art. And I really don't know the replayability of this. It's not like it's going to be portal. You're not going to be able to take it on holiday. And I just think it's going to be... Um, I don't know. It's, it's going to be... It's time being played. It's going to be next to zero. Yeah. I mean, dexterity game, but not much game to the dexterity game other than firing things over the top. It's more like a little bar game, like air hockey. Very odd. I don't know what you think about that, but I think it's very odd. We have 10 minutes left. I'm, I'm quitting music today. We've got um, nobody in the chat today. Everyone's busy locked down watching videos. <laughs> What are you doing on the lockdown? Tell me in the comments. I really want to go down to the the bottom stuff. So let's head down. Ooh, Zuli. Well, there's something interesting here. We did cover this. But at the time of covering it, they didn't tell us something very interesting about it. Now, <clears throat> this game is being crowdfunding on two platforms. Kickstarter. And Modian, which is for Mandarin, so a Chinese Kickstarter page. They're gonna, they are, well, they are merging funds. They are absolutely. And they have busted through a gazillion stretch goals because of it. <laughs> They have indeed, and you want to see these tiles that they've unlocked. This game is changing big time. Radiation terrain. Lots more scenes to play out. Mutant seaweed. Additional art for the scene cards. Blazing terrain. It's unlocked. It has unlocked. So the scene card is our next one. And if you look here, they are unlocking stretch goals before they can actually update you. <laughs> That's how insane this campaign is going.
Oh, a new language has been added. Four. French, German, Chinese, simplified or traditional. And um, it's going to be translated into Spanish and it's going to be translated into Japanese. So they're the new ones. All right, very good. It's expanding. We like this. We like this. New stretch goals revealed again. <laughs> Oh, it's a cutie. <laughs> yeah, it has these silver event cards and gold events. Doesn't want to talk about this stuff. <clears throat> so there's a lot of mystery still, Mr. Blue Piper Studio. Come on, what's the gold event? But yeah, other than that, the Kickstarter has gone exploded not because of kickstarter but also because of its chinese kickstarting one so this is a bit of a misleading backer as it's doing more than it's doing more than this yeah it's over 33,000, so it's doing about 66 percent more on the other kickstarter page so um, it's actually not a bad way of doing your kickstarter isn't it if there's another kickstarter you're doing it two and two this is something more indie companies should be doing to push the campaign better. And yeah, Zulywood, very, very cool thematic abstract game. And it's very, very, very beautifully cute. Over battle. You are the reason we were delayed last week. We <laughs> are going to push that video out this week. <laughs> Over battle. Budgies with grudges. Yes, we have got a boycott on this company because they DCM strikes against us for using an image on a splash screen. Can you believe it? Because they didn't like the video we did about them, they did a copyright strike against our channel. Because we used an R off the card on the splash screen. Are you insane? Well, we don't wish you luck on your campaign after that treatment. Unbelievable. <laughs> Went, didn't even contact us. And when we contacted them, we just got not listening to you. This is the last time we're going to speak to you, is kind of the attitude with that company. Disgraceful. Absolutely disgraceful. All right. King of Sleeves. Now, the Kingless, fast, pacey, easy to learn card game. We'll, we'll see. They've got this 92 card pack here, but it just, you add up these cards and that's what you've got in the deck. Um, they, they could like put these out on the table to show you them all. Um, two to six player, fast play, 20 minutes. The art is really charming, something to be said. But the competition with card games on Kickstarter at the minute is big. You've got some big card games on Kickstarter. Upgrade the card stock. An exclusive coin, whoopee doo. 10 more cards to the game. Yes, content needs to push content and we'll work on an expansion. Is it going to be free? Is it going to be free for backers? <laughs> No videos on how to play. None. No YouTubers covering it. None. This is what's massively missing. Um, now, look at this. 32 is all the cards. What's this extra one? The limited number with some Kickstarter art. Who cares? 
giant tier here. Nobody's gone for that. Um, so yeah, we don't know how it plays. Your video isn't very good at covering it, and and yeah, so oh, I, I don't know. They need more videos. They need more updates. Look, a short gameplay video that should be on your main campaign page. How many people are coming in looking at updates? All right, there you go. We have a short gameplay video, so you can find out more about this. But in our advice is if you want this game for 32, you're right in there with Sanctuary which is such a bigger box with mats that come free it's just blowing you out of the water kingless you gotta wait for sanctuary to go away because it's taking all your backers that potentially could come here very small box kingless it really is and uh, yeah there's more meat on bones at the same price out there on Kickstarter. Budgies with good grudges. This is also a card game. They're both in the same genre here. Do we want to find something we've looked at? Oh, new Osaka. What are people doing? Hello, world of Kickstarter. Go and have a look at it. Is amazing. Rolling plunder. Also very, very cool. Do check that out. We're gonna finish with Angry Dogs. Yes. And then we'll wrap up the show. We'll wrap up the show after Angry Dogs. Now, Angry Dogs, um, I'm a cat person, first of all. Well, I do love dogs, I do. If we ever have chicken, I take all the bones to the neighbor's dog and I feed the dog. <laughs> so, you know, I've got nothing against dogs. I like them. You can hug them like a big teddy bear. You can hug them. And we've got a corgi here eating a pizza. I don't know if I've ever seen a dog eating a pizza. Um... There is that. I know cats don't like vacuum cleaners, but what's... I don't know. Can you chase a corgi around the house with a vacuum cleaner? I don't know. Um, a 30 minute game. Hang on a second. What's that noise going in the background? <laughs> anyway. Um, 7 plus, so it is for young peeps. That is very good to see two to six players um two to six players why is that ringing in my burn oh of course the um lots of the card games at the minute are doing two to six brain went off on one <laughs> it comes with an amazing pizza box how big is it six jumbo tip cards these are these big white things here Main deck is 132 cards, so it's two deck of cards and a rule book. So a very little package. Coming in at $21, so this is mega cheap. It is coming in cheap. How to play? You've got to be the first to collect 50 points worth of pizza cards. Look at the art on these pizza cards. Could they not have done something better? Well, I know they've got interesting faces on, but there's better pizza out there on the market. And I'm not big on the backgrounds of the cards. It just looks so generic and retail. <sighs> Now, kind of interesting here, as the dog breeds themselves are kind of cool. Um, 
all the little dogs, they are always barky, 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 aren't they? Little chihuahuas um, that you see here in Mexico are always the loudest ones. It's like... <laughs> Look at the fairy godmother. I do like the concept of these. It's just that... I don't know. It looks like a first pass of the art. And... Um, that's what it just looks like. It looks... It does not excite me, the art. Cool concepts here. I, I don't know. It's something about this art just doesn't speak to me. Now, if you're wanting to get a, a card game on Kickstarter, there's either one, you're going to be blown away by the art. Two, you're going to get blown away by the finish of the cards how thick it is, linen finish. You're going to get blown away by sleeves that they've got as an add-on, some custom sleeves maybe. Yes, you might get excited about foil cards, you might get excited about UV cards. And when you're pushing your game out at $20, where is it? $21. We know we're most likely not going to see any of that and this is what we've got here we don't mind paying extra to get a beautiful pimped out card system and this is I guess why people aren't jumping on this a play mat look at that it looks that wouldn't even go in a children's comic it's that simple and this hat a pizza hat who cares about that <laughs> so it does have a stretch goal to upgrade to 300 GSM so they're on the way there but you can't get over the the art not I can't get over the art they've already got an expansion for 20 cards and the 20 card expansion is $10 for 20 cards that is really expensive isn't it? That is super expensive. You're getting over 130 cards for $20. And to get less than 10% extra cards, it's 50% extra price. That is outrageous. That is absolutely outrageous. There's the hatch. She doesn't look happy wearing it. It just looks, I don't know. Silly. Not even to a fancy dress party could you wear that. <laughs> uh, maybe a pizza delivery person and uh, you want to get a tip. Maybe it might work for you. All right, so that is Angry Dogs. And um, just underwhelming across the board. Very expensive expansion at the back. <sighs> Very expensive. It did does look like it's getting a stretch goals but um it doesn't look like they're telling you what the stretch goal is here does it i mean how much do they want for this just wants to be funded and you'll get this card update oh dear well you've got a long way for your goal and uh, 21 days to go um there's just bigger projects out there projects for around the $30 price bracket that are doing amazing things and down here at the $20 price bracket we're not seeing those things so I think that's why Angry Dogs is suffering so oh dear Angry Dogs oh, could have spent another six months redoing the art in my opinion to um, make it look more fantastic it looks early on in its concept but um that is there for me and it's coming May Feb 2021 there we go yeah <laughs> Feb 2021 so my I, I think if it didn't if it didn't but if it didn't pass its go for me that'd be the best thing for the project it needs to go away look at the art change it up again Look at the comp competition we've 
art card games out there. Um, you're thinking of oh, what's the Mexican throw the taco game called? Throw throw burrito. Look at the art on that. Um, for example, that is kind of what's expected from um, fun games, card games that are priced around this bracket. So you need to look at your competitors out there and what they did. They'll give you a focus of what's where the bar is when it comes to expectation and it just comes in below the bar. So angry dogs. All right, peeps. We're coming to the end of the live show. Thank you very much for staying, for being with us today. If you're watching this on the edited version, um, I hope you had a good time. Thank you so much you got to the end. Yeah, mega exciting. Some interesting stuff coming today. Kale Walla, Tale of Sampo. A comprehensive board game about the Finnish epoch Kalvala. Claim your piece of Nordic mythology. Mm, interesting. The Basketball Champion Board Game. Who said sport theme games had to be boring? A game where you build your arena with ferocious and cute players to destroy your opponents. Is this going to be the best games of the day? We shall see. <laughs> well, I'll leave it there. We're obviously getting anchored tomorrow, which is very exciting. Can't wait for that. We should have a video on that out tomorrow. But, uh, yeah, it's all good, all good. Um, guys and gals, thank you so much for watching. Um, please check our content out this week when we drop it. Please subscribe if you're not subscribed. And um, yeah, you take care, stay safe, um, and have fun out there. I've been your host, Lipstick Paddy. So, um, so bye bye for now. <laughs>